Good morning, beautiful people. It's Aisha V here. Welcome back to Social Media Trends on The Weekend Show. Now, I've got an interesting story that's been buzzing around social media. Let's go ahead and get started. Former Petroleum Minister Dizani Alison Maduke made a statement uh, that quite left Nigerians flabbergasted and confused. Uh, she mentioned during a virtual presentation that was organized by the Ijal National Development Group that uh, right now fatherhood is a bit absent in families in Nigeria and Yahoo Yahoo Boys, properly known as Yahoo Yahoo Boys, internet fraudsters have become the role models of the youth. Now, Nigerians aren't so quick to forget that Former minister, uh, former, the former minister was being investigated by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, for embezzlement of funds and corruption. Let's look at what a few Nigerians had to say about the story. From FCMG Global, he says, ex-petroleum minister Dizani Alison Maduke says, Yahoo boys have become role models. How long did it take her to realize that she's now a role model? From Star Kid 01, just woke up this morning to read about Dizani spitting rubbish about Yahoo guys when she's their role model politically. This life, no balance at all. Take a look at that funny picture. <laughs> wait a minute, Dizani is bashing Yahoo boys? This is from Steve Saifa. She says, wait a minute, Dizani is bashing Yahoo boys? A whole hush mummy. Definitely some hashtag Monday motivation. Now, you know, if you do know Northern singer or musician Yahaya Sharif Aminu, uh, he's been given a death sentence based on uh, allegations of blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad S.A.W. Uh, but this is a developing story. There has been a global rights group known as Amnesty International AI that have called the Kano government to tell, let them know that this can't be happening. It is a quash. It needs to be immediately quashed, and this is a violation of human rights. They also mentioned that this is a travesty of justice. Let's see what some Nigerians had to say about this. From Adeleke Yetunde, he says, I am a Muslim and can boldly say if the prophet were to be alive to witness this day, he would never have wished death upon the musician. He probably would have smiled to that musician, hugged him, and say, may Allah renew your heart. Mindset like yours is why the North is turbulent. I guess he's referring to um, Sharia courts in Kano that handed a death sentence to Yahaya Sharif. This is from Fakus Hashim. She says, nothing, and I mean nothing, should ever warrant the killing of anyone for anything they've said. This is repulsive and regressive. Death sentencing is for blasphemy or a human rights violation, and the FG must act to stop the sentence from being carried out. We have one more reaction from Ali Yusel. He says, why did blasphemy in the first place? Following Islam or the Prophet Muhammad, S-A-W, is not compulsory. There's no, compulsion, there's no compulsion in Islam, but note this. If anyone make a blasphemy against our Prophet, S-A-W, his punishment is dead. You can fill the whole of this world with English. You know, we know our popular lady, Riskat. She hails from Kwara State, Iloran. She is lady with the blue eyes. The Nigerian woman is a mom of two. And as we all know, it's been trending on social media that her husband abandoned them based on the color of their eyes. Uh, now you can take a look at them now. Um, this was a photographed by Mofe Bamiwa. He is a photographer of these beautiful pictures. He did mention that lady Riskat said that um, she would not bother changing her eyes, even if the technology was available for it. We have some reactions here at Joel's. He says, please, nobody should try and reconcile this babe with the man that abandoned her and her children. See her lovely smile, work and shelter for her children is what she needs. Whee! <laughs> Another reaction we have here is from Adiola 006. The woman and her estranged husband should be reconciled and counseled. Whatever the man's reasons were, he was wrong. As a single parent child while growing up, I knew how much he wanted a father. Let's reset the button in your favor of familyhood. They want him to, this is from Shehu's Shulri. He says they want to invite her husband to give his side of the story and try reconciling them. They kept on asking her if she would want to get back with her husband. Some callers even went as far as saying that she must get back with him. Someone down there says, uh, I still don't agree. This is from Mace Troy Roy. He says, I still don't agree with the story. She had the eyes before he met her, had the eyes when she birthed her first daughter, and her first daughter got the eyes. Then she birthed her second child and he runs away. Either he's one of those local men who want only sons or the story is false or fake. Uh, this is in exciting news. Netflix sends gift to Ikorodu Boys. I do have a video to play for you today. Right quickly, Ikorodu Boys are, these are brothers that create comedy skits and remake Hollywood movies as well. They've been out on social media for recreating the trailer of the movie Extraction. It is a Netflix original and they've been gifted gifts from Netflix. Um, you can see here, 
filming production equipment, cameras, lights, all from Netflix. It says here, this is the Russell Brothers. This is awesome. We would love to have you guys at the Extraction 2 premiere. DM us and we'll get you there. The Kuru Boys were invited to the USA for the premiere of the Extraction, the movie. We have here, imagine shooting a scene of, this is from the real Okiki. Imagine shooting a scene of Extraction 2 in your Kurodu with the Kurodu Boys. Oh my, mad gone. Just too intense for us. Hashtag Kurodu Boys, hashtag Extraction 2, hashtag Extraction. Yes, the Kurodu Boys featured on Hollywood's E! Entertainment. More wins to these guys. Hoping this blows it all up for them. They deserve their roses. Honestly, I they low-key pray make them from that, make them from that premiere. Lost in a Hollywood takeover kind of way, Kurodu Boys. Moving on to the next story, uh, we should go on to the next tweet. This is a tweet about, um, if you do recall, Anthony Mesoma, I did show him last week. Uh, he has been offered a scholarship to a school in the USA. But I have here a tweet where someone mentions, his name is Wado Edo. He says, why does the West think plucking talent out of Africa is always the way to do things? This child clearly attends a school that teaches phenomenal technique, so why not? I don't know. Empowered institution instead of removing their finest. He's been given uh, a scholarship to go to America. I want to know your views on this. Let me know your opinions. Do you think this is proper? Do you think this is proper that um, we have our young, talented youth being taken out of Nigeria to get a better opportunity? I mean, it is, seems like a big shot, but look at the Rikuru boys. They're left here in Nigeria to attend um, a, a KAP Academy by Kunle Afalayo. He is the um, award-winning filmmaker. He's going to mentor them in his school. So I think that's a better option than having them leave Nigeria and go somewhere to a different country. Uh, this is a video of the Kurodu boys when they received their gift. I'm just going to quickly show you a snippet and then we'll go quickly to the next story. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Wow. 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 This is amazing. Wow. This is ah. just like the dream come true. Camera monitor. Ah! Mommy, let me see you. Wow. Many things. Oh, welcome back. Right now, uh, I have uh, Fireboy's new album release. Um, you know, he just dropped an album 10 months ago. Isn't that amazing? And now he's back again with another album called Apollo with 12 tracks and no features, of course. That is amazing. We do have a few tweets I will show you quickly uh, concerning Fireboy's new album release. Fireboy, this is from Ehi Jazzy. Fireboy is a complete musician. The boy Sabi sing. Another reaction from social media was, this is from I am Tunji. Fireboy is indeed the king of a new school. The guy is too good. Hashtag tattoo, hashtag Apollo. Two albums, this is from Marvin, the tall braided guy. Two albums in 11 months. Does he even sleep? Like I mentioned, he dropped, dropped his last album, Laughter, Tears, and Goosebumps, 11 months ago. This is from I am Peter Pavo. 17 tracks without a feature. Again, no artist should be compared to this guy. Hashtag Apollo. Now I'm going to take this last tweet, 17 tracks on the new Fireboys album, Who No Go No, Who No Hear Must Hear, hashtag Apollo, Apollo that is. I want to uh, quickly introduce a guest on the show. We have here CEO of The Wedding Doctor, Mr. Emmanuel Okolo, here with us. Come on. Hello, <laughs> Hello good, good morning. morning. Welcome, welcome. We have yeah. here with him, Ms. Adiola, Hello. I mean, I've met you before. Nice to yes, see you nice again see here. You again. So beautiful. Nice Thank meeting you. you, sir. Thank so you. I want to just know, you know, I want to tell our viewers about The Wedding Doctor. You know, you are the CEO of The Wedding Doctor, where there's a platform you create for people or for, like, say, your wedding guests, and also for those that want to feel the reality of what it feels like to plan a wedding, the steps you take in doing a wedding. Just let us know about your platform. Okay, so our platform is, um, is designed to be a solution-driven platform for potential newlyweds and um, vendors where they can coexist and um, achieve what um, they've been programmed to achieve really. Uh, we've um, designed this platform f based on um, popular demand really. Um, yeah. Haven't seen a lot of weddings um, um, f fall apart for lack of better word and we decided to create a platform whereby we can actually you know profess solutions for them beyond the weddings and keeping their marriage intact. So based on that we've designed couple of segments and series and beyond weddings and then changing the narrative in terms of how we cover weddings and then giving you more like a, a reality feel to yeah, how exactly. your days evolve 
I, I like the fact you said that reality feeling. I mean, I've yeah. attended so many weddings. I really don't know how to plan one, but I would love to learn, you know. But yeah. I can see the, what I said, the, the chaos behind planning it. So it's just great that you're putting out the platform to help, you know. Like, is it for, I know it's not for all young couples, but like, does it matter the age you're going to have the couples no. in or what you? No, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't actually matter okay. in terms of the age. Um, I mean, like I said, we have different segments cut across different demography of target audience, mm. your age group. So we have Beyond the Veil, we have, uh, which is a reality mm. I mean, web series. We have um, the Becoming series, which is about the weddings. So it tells you about the transition, uh, the transition yeah. from pre-events yeah. pre pre till after your events too as well. So for a long time, we're going to be with, stuck with you. Let's say for better words, uh, for lack of better words, we are well, stakeholders yeah. in your marriage. Yeah, yeah, for better or worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Better or worse, yeah. <laughs> I would like to hear from you, Jayla. You mentioned, uh, you know, he said cooking and things behind the scenes going on for a wedding. Can you tell me about yeah. wh where the um, platform will come in with that? So when it comes to weddings, people are always like, oh, we see the magic. It's amazing, you know. They just think it happens, but you don't see yeah. the sweat, the tears, the, the arguments. <laughs> yeah, true. They don't see all of that. And Emmanuel is fantastic and very creative. Working with him has been it's more of a punch in the stomach because you have to be on your toes 24 seven. So definitely grateful for that. We decided that it was best to give people, like he said, a reality, a dose of reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So adding to that dose of reality where you get to come behind the scenes, the transition, the journey, the heartache, the happiness. He also decided to create a platform where you could learn. It's not just about seeing the magic is about learning the magic there's something i always say that even fire has a process before it burns True. it's not just about yeah. you coming and saying oh my god i'm an event planner no mm -hmm. what did you learn who did you learn from yes. what technical skills do you have what vocational skills do you have emmanuel has decided to bring in amazing curators who have already established their business they've already cried They've already wept, they've wailed, they've, they've done all of that. True. They've well. gotten all the experience and now they're coming up with the Pro Masterclass, Masterclass Africa, Africa yeah. in Pigeon. You know, that's, I'm going to be left out of that because <laughs> my Pigeon is horrible. Pigeon is You're standard. Still in it, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but say, yeah. Yeah. in Pigeon, in English, there's even a segment for kids teaching for kids, yeah. kids yeah. how to have their own YouTube channels, how to make their own accessories, the DIY format, yeah. the learning format. So. Wedding doctors is not just about weddings. It's changing the narrative about who you need to be as a person, especially now that COVID-19 has definitely it's changed, changed yeah. the status yeah. quo. Exactly. Yes. Well, I, really, I like what you've been saying. I'm, I'm just feeling a bit of excitement that you just said that reality, everything, that's it for me, the reality. People yeah. need to know the yeah. creation of what's going on behind the wedding. So how do we reach you? Now, what platform, your social media handles, you know, your Instagram. I heard about uh, Masterclass. Yes, Pro yeah. Masterclass exactly. Africa. Yeah, yeah, so yeah on Instagram, we're on Instagram, uh, the Pro Masterclass Africa. That is Pro underscore Masterclass underscore Africa. Okay. Then on Instagram, we are the Wedding Doctors. That's T-H-E underscore Wedding underscore doctors. doctors. Um, another thing we've done uh, with the Pro Master class is um, we are trying to make the website more interactive now right. and more mm -hmm. like other websites really. So you can come in there and spend your whole data and um, NEPA bills there. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> yeah, Thank so. you so much. Thank you for the yeah. opportunity you're creating with your platform. Thank it's you. So it's great what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right, guys, that's right. it for entertainment. Thank you for staying with us. Please do follow uh, the the wedding doctor, as he said, the wedding the D T H E underscore doctor at Instagram. Then you can also follow the weekend show on Twitter and Instagram at the weekend show underscore ng for Twitter and at the weekend show ng for Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram Aisha V. Thank you for staying with us.